What excites me about drone technology, uh, for me personally, is being able to uh, leverage a, a technology I saw really early in the military and watch it sort of commercialize and be a part of, of everyday life. While I was in the military, drone technology really kind of did the same evolution that a computer did. When I got in the military, you know, a drone was like a mainframe computer, cost a hundred million dollars, looked like an airplane, took off from a runway, and then watched the systems get smaller and smaller, kind of to like the laptop level. You know, I, I was a dyadable believer that drone technology would commercialize. I had absolutely no idea what that meant. And so, you know, left the military really believing that you know, this would kind of get out to companies and everyday people all over the world. Look, I mean, we're at the very beginning of a new industry, right? We're probably five years into a 30-year, really aggressive technology cycle. So what interests us, there are several much better sensors, much more detailed sensors uh, in thermal imagery, in LiDAR imagery, which is kind of laser mapping, that really will allow companies to uh, take out big costs and really get a, a much better product that will save them exponentially more money. You know, when we started doing this work, I had to kind of build our own, our first probably 20, 25 drones myself. So that's a lot of wiring, soldering. You just would get this drone in parts with all the instructions in Chinese and we'd sort of be around the soldering bench trying to understand how to do it. I'm happy we don't have to make all of our own anymore, but I think that that's a great experience is getting hands-on with hardware, just to understand what makes the system tick, what are the trade-offs. You know, if you put this heavy camera on, you need to have this much more propeller lift, right? So how, how, how is the system constructed? Uh, that was a case where you couldn't take a class on this in drone technology at the time, you probably still can't, um, but there were good mentors that had just sort of figured some of this stuff out who spent time with me just literally building the hardware. Uh, and we had a lot of lessons to learn there. So, you know, you didn't wire the, the fourth uh, wire into the third base place correctly and the drone would like flip upside down during flight. So I'd say that the best place to start is just, you know, if you feel passionate about something, just go really, really deep and, and solve a hard technology problem. Even if you can't kind of connect the dots, like how would this be its own company or, or an important part of a bigger company, that is sort of the foundation that you can architect a lot on. Instead of just joining a company, you could get an executive level role at a company. In a new industry, instead of joining a company, you could start a company.